Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to practice calligraphy the right way. Most of us start practicing calligraphy by copying from the internet and I am guilty of that too. This happens because we treat calligraphy as handwriting and the next obvious step seems to draw it freehand. But this ends up in frustration and no matter how hard you try your calligraphy doesn't seem to get any better. Plus, with no mentor by your side, you feel like calligraphy is not your cup of tea. But that's not true. Anybody can do calligraphy. Yes, anyone. Trust me. All you need is a framework to approach calligraphy the right way. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. All these tips apply to all calligraphy styles, be it brush pen, pointed pen or broad edge tools. You'll find these tips helpful. So before we begin, quickly subscribe to my channel and stay tuned till the end to find out how to get better at calligraphy. I am Simran and I share helpful calligraphy videos regularly. Number 1. Always draw with a pencil first. You might be tempted to draw freehand with a brush pen because that's what we see on Instagram. I understand. Say if you as a beginner write a word freehand, you may run into these problems. Either your letters will overlap or they'll feel all over the place. The spacing and sizing of the letters will be off. At this time, it is important to remember that you are a beginner. So to make sure that you build muscle memory for the right shape, draw it with a pencil first. Start with drawing some guidelines to fix the height of your letters. You can also draw angled guides if you want to write in italics. So again, this step applies to the dip pen and any broad edge style. Then draw the word or phrase with a pencil first. This gives you room to correct any errors in shape. Also it gives you a preview of how your final calligraphy is going to look like. This in turn acts as the correct guide when you draw the basic stroke with a brush pen and not to mention avoids a lot of beginner frustration. If you compare these two, your calligraphy instantly looks so much better when you draw it with a pencil first. And of course you can later erase these pencil guides. Or if you want, you can use these traceable brush calligraphy practice sheets. The guides are already drawn here and you can go in with your brush pen to practice all the letters. I'll link them in the description below. Number 2. Lift your pen in between strokes. There is no feat in writing continuously. Additionally, calligraphy is not handwriting where you need to write fast without lifting the pen. So lift your pen off the paper as much as possible. If you write continuously without lifting the pen, then you'll mix up your thick and thin strokes, especially when you're a beginner and getting adjusted to the new grip of the pen. But if you lift your pen after every stroke, it helps you adjust your pen for the different positions in thick and thin strokes. And you are more likely to get consistent letter forms. This also applies to a dip pen where lifting the pen helps in adjusting the position of your hand. The same goes for broad edged calligraphy where you need to change pen angles quite frequently. Number 3. Be very slow. Again, remember this is not handwriting so you are not aiming for speed. Also if you are referring to Instagram videos they are highly sped up. Trust me on this. That's because I make these videos too. It's impossible to post real-time videos as it would bore the audience. Here's my real-time speed with brush calligraphy. If you try and rush, you'll mix up your thick and thin strokes, also the angles at times. For this reason, be slow while creating calligraphy strokes. This also helps you understand the structure of the letter form. Number 4. 
Also, here's my real-time speed with a dip pen and broad-edged tool. Number four, rotate your paper rather than rotating your body. Yes, it's very important to maintain the right posture. Sometimes we tend to hover over the paper or sit in an uncomfortable position. This leads to back and neck pain. Also, you might feel sore in your hand. In this case, it's better to sit straight and comfortably. Keep your hand in the most comfortable writing position and then Rotate the paper at an angle that's convenient for you. Number 5. It only gets better with regular practice. Yes, there is no shortcut to getting better at calligraphy and there is no other way but regular practice. And by practice, I mean practicing the basic strokes of calligraphy regularly. That's because these are the building blocks of letters. Each calligraphy strip has these basic strokes. I had made a previous video discussing basic brush calligraphy strokes. You can find it in the top right corner. So, before you begin, Put your mind to set aside at least 15 minutes each day to practice these basic calligraphy strokes. Initially, you might not be satisfied with your results. But the key here is to stay consistent. And I promise that you'll see your calligraphy improve with regular practice. I suggest maintaining records of your practice and compare them after a month. You'll see tremendous improvement. If you'd like, you can always use practice sheets or workbooks to make these sessions interesting for you. But do not miss out on practice. I've been doing calligraphy for four years now and I make sure I practice the basics daily. So that's all from my end. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, then please hit subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.